The next part of Jenkins installation is to actually going into the proper URL address and proceed with the next steps to perform installation to the end. Okay. So first of all, we are switching to command line and then I will try to explain everything. So what you need to do just because if you will log into and you will perform sudo system tl status Jenkins service, you can see all the information, but there is no information which URL it is using, only that it is using HTTP port 8080, right? But there is no IP address actually, and you don't know actually how to get into. Of course, you can guess or you can know that. The best option is just to check the IP address with IPA command, or even better, use hostname dash capital I. And you can see there is a address 10.10.0113. So what you need to do, you need to go into the browser and put this URL. Uh, 10.10.0.113 column 8080 like that. So copy this URL HTTP, go to the browser and put it to the address bar in your browser like that. And you should be able to get into, but it is not, you're not able to get into it's will display the information that you are unable to do that. Why actually? Um, I'm going to explain. Because of the firewall. See this, right? You cannot get into. So what you need to do, actually, you need to find out is the port open. So sudo, first of all, check the firewall system. Uh, the firewall service, sudo, system, ctl and the status and in our case it's a firewall d because open source is using firewall d service and you can see it's loaded okay so we are using firewall d so sudo firewall d dash cmd dash dash list dash all should uh, why firewall cmd sorry yeah dash dash uh firewall dash cmd dash dash list dash all sorry and now you can see it listed all the services and interfaces that are allowed i mean dhcp version 6 client and ssh are only allowed on the interface eth0 IPA will show us only two. The first is a loopback and the second one is ETH0. Okay, so how to do that to make port 8080 work? Sudo firewall C dash cmd and then dash dash add dash port equals 8080 slash tcp dash dash permanent and dash dash zone equals and it will be public because you can see public active is selected and here we go Seth. and the next step is to reload configuration so sudo firewall dash cmd dash dash reload enter the first lovely so we are now checking the configuration list all services and ports and values and you can see ports 8080 tcp is open excellent so we are going back to our browser and we re we are going to refresh and now you can see it's running so unlock the jenkins Use the password from the previous video that you copied into the notepad, put it here and click continue. It's in Polish language because it recognized my browser 
Locale, my bro's language. So install suggested plugins or choose plugins to be installed. We are using the default option install suggested plugins. And now you can see it's installing. Okay, we can see we have an option to choose the login. So create your first administrator. So we can type just admin. We can create another user. The best option is to use some random value actually for the password like um, numbers, um, special sign symbols, etc., etc. So to have something that is easy to remember and easy to understand. And also that is difficult and at least 12 uh, characters, but longer password is better. Okay, full name, it can be Adrian, can be admin, this admin info. PL. Okay. Uh, continue at administrators. Save and end. Like that. And save and end. Now. And use the Jenkins. And the question you can see we have our users, right? So we can go here and we can see the configuration and we can see our values there is token so we can add new token here and that's something that is worth to remember and also you can check the status and you can see the status of all those users and it should be credentials and you can see source from parent Current is the system global credentials, and you can see global credentials unrestricted are empty. So, this is all configuration. You can see this, and okay, so we have we see that some values are in English, some values are in Polish language. So, actually, how to switch to the English language at all to have all those things in uh, English la language instead of instead of your native language, right? Uh, okay, so what you need to do, you need to go to Manage Jenkins, then go to the 
plugins and click available plugins and then look for locale like that select install without restart and scroll down and go back to the main page and now you can see if you will refresh if you will click on the jenkins logo it should work eventually what you can do you can go to manage jenkins and it's good to always to install something like um restart jenkins so save restart select and install without and you can see it's go fast and select this restart the jenkins to make it work and now you will be able to first of all use jenkins in english language and the next thing is to see the button which will allow you to restart safely jenkins directly from jenkins admin panel okay and now we are going to log in go it should log in and okay not now and if you will go to the table to the jenkins you can see restart safely so we manage jenkins once again and it looks like the locale didn't install properly so go to the uh, available select locale one time one more time and you can see it doesn't exist so installed and look here locale plugin and it's enabled so that is interesting so what we need to do we can go to the jenkins and go to the manage go to the system and here in the system you can set the locale for the for users or as global for example and if you just scroll down down locale you can use something like en us and yeah ignore browser preference and force this language to all users and apply and save and now it should switch to the language english language dashboard and you can see everything is english language and you can the manage Jenkins and all those sections are in English language. Excellent. So we switch to English language. That is the most important thing. And restart safely allows us to restart the Jenkins. So we can restart it once again, just to be sure that all plugins are loaded properly during the restart of the Jenkins service. Okay, we need to wait a little bit longer. And then we will be able to log into the Jenkins and see if everything working as expected. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Login. And you can see we are logged into the environment with Jenkins and we can see everything inside is in English language. Lovely. So that's how we did it okay log out so for now we can see that everything is working as expected and there is no problems and we can also check the status version um yeah firewall d and we will see the status of the jenkins service uh and you can see it's working and that's all for now so, thank you very much. Have a nice day. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.